Welcome to the channel and welcome to the world of Falcon BMS. Usually people have problems with mapping their controls and here is a way to make it a little bit easier for you. It's called the Alternative Launcher. Sometimes people call it AL, AL, Alpha Lima, or Alt Launcher, something along those lines. So you're going to have to go to this website. I'll have it in the description below. So make sure you click on that, go to this website, download this MSI here. So when you download the Alt Launcher, you'll download the MSI file It'll uh, download it onto your, your desktop or your, your downloads. And once you do that, you open it. And where I put it, you can put it anywhere you want. But what I usually do, I put it in my tools, Falcon BMS uh, install folder. Go to tools and make an alt launcher folder there. And it'll go right in here. So when you do that, make sure you create a shortcut for the alt launcher and put that on your desktop so you could, you could have easy access to it. And once you open up the alt launcher, you'll have a screen like this. It might be a little smaller, but you could you could adjust it. So adjust it as needed. So the features of of, of a alt launcher is a theater drop down. So if you open up the alt launcher, you have all the theaters right here. Instead of having to open up Falcon BMS to change your theater, so you can open up the alt launcher, choose a theater, and press launch, and it'll automatically load that theater on the first launch. So you have the drop down menu here. You have the documentation and manual button. You can click on that. It'll take you to all the manuals and documentation that BMS has to offer. The command line. So it took me a little bit to understand what this, what the the symbols mean. But if it's off dark, that means it's it's off. So it's like a light bulb. So the light bulb was off. That means that is off. I have all of them set up for my personal reasons. Acme will automatically record TAC view, window runs BMS in a windowed mode. No movie does not play the movie at the beginning when you run BMS. iFly is a certain free roam camera and debug is a option for it to collect more data than, than what it usually does. It's for like admins and uh, the developers just in case something happens. So I have that set up and it automatically saves like a text file so you can give it to them. So all these down here, you have your launch config, all these things down here. It's the same as when you open up BMS on that first page. Yeah, weapon delivery planner, mission commander, all of these things, when you click on them, they will ask for a, a directory. So just go to your directory of your of that certain software. But once you have all those set up, then you're, you're good to go. Uh, don't click any of these, because it does some weird stuff. But here's the launcher, has all the news here. Uh, you go to access assign. I have the Thrustmaster Warthog, so that's what mine, mine is is set to so there's the roll obviously you have your your roll your of your stick you have the throttle here the the yaw i have on my on my pedals here toe brakes or toe brakes avionics is a little the little uh mouse button on the throttle trim i don't have a actual uh, axis so all that is here so going into the ICP radio, radios, this is more ax, axes you could set up. So you got your HUD brightness, reticle, FLIR, course heading. So you can have accesses, axes for all of these different um, controls. The view is FOV, so there's a slider on the Thrustmaster Warthog. I have that for the field of view to zoom in and zoom out. I have external mouse look checked, natural head movement for track IR, pilot model uh, it, enabled in the cockpit smart scaling for the size of aircraft at a certain distance. Moving on to key mapping. So this is where all the fun starts. Uh, it's where the fun happens here. So here, just go into there. Uh, only do a few buttons the first time. So you set up a few buttons. You close out. You you don't close it out. You set up a few buttons. Go to launcher. Launch BMS. Make sure that those buttons are set. So do like your cursor enable and like your TMS um, switch or something. So make sure those actually work in, in the cockpit. Once those work, close out BMS, open up Alt Launcher, do a few more buttons, test it out again. And then after that works, then do all of your, all of your buttons. Cause the first couple times it restarts, resets all of your buttons or something. So make sure you don't do that. Don't set up all your buttons and then it resets the next time. So here in the key mapping, you have the category drop-down menu. You can go to MFD left. It'll go straight to the MFD left. Views, it'll go straight to the views. So you have all these different drop-down menus for this. Also, you can use the filter for something that you would uh, want to look at. CMS, that TMS switch is there. Or if you want to do stick, stick comes up. So you can search your buttons in there as well. So if you have any questions, you can comment, ask me something. 
or go into the forums, ask them something, or make sure you go to Falcon Lounge on Discord for any questions that you might have. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.